this is Graham from the Cavaleros. Today I'm going to teach you a rockabilly guitar solo in the style of Grady Martin. Uh, Grady Martin was a studio player, uh, started, started out in the 50s uh, backing uh, greats like uh, Johnny Burnett, Patsy Cline, uh, Marty Robbins, uh, Brenda Lee, many, of, many other uh, great artists. Um, he had a particularly um, unique style in his usage of double stops, um, sort of open string riffs, as you'll see in the solo. So uh, I hope you enjoy it, and let's get down to business. First lick in the solo, uh, which happens to be in the key of E, um, starts on a pickup, so right before the bar. So I'll play the first lick, and then we'll break it down slowly and do the fingering and everything that we need to do. So it goes as follows. <laughs> Okay, so I'll slow that down. Now we start with our second finger, fifth fret on the G, hammering up to the G sharp. So. Okay. Real sort of a, a vital swing, rock and roll swing kind of lick. Uh, circling around sort of an E6 chord. Be the six in. Okay, we go into this double stop. Now, this is a technique that's quite unique to sort of the Grady Martin style, where he would um, sort of bend up on. He'd play a double stop, but he would um, bend up on one note and then leave the other note ringing. So he leaves the E E ringing, which is the root of the chord, and then sort of bends up on the third, which is the G. Kind of honky tonk sort of blues sound, uh, which kind of goes in between the the uh, G and the G sharp there, which is where a lot of the blues guys get their their sound. So you can kind of bend, you can bend it right up to the major third, or you can bend it slightly a little bit lower to get a little bit more of a blues sound there. So that's kind of what he does there. Um, okay, so. Okay, so that's, uh, I'll play that lick again. Now there I'm not letting the two, I'm not playing the two strings, so it's just... And then I go back into the ringing. Really good uh, for your technique to work on something like that, because uh, it sort of practices sort of clearing the, the two, uh, the, the high E string there, so... Uh, back and forth there, okay? So, um, I'll go back to the beginning and sort of play that riff and then we'll go on to the next bit. Okay, and then we go into this next bit, double stop. Okay, so that bit is the transition in from the, uh, from the E chord into the B chord. Uh, so what we do there, we slide in uh, onto the ninth fret with my index finger. Into to the B there, so. Okay. So again, those notes there, quite cool. with all of the greats. Um, so he knew what notes to play and what sounded cool. So we've got a root and a third there, the, the chord, and the, the flatted third and the fifth. It's more of a blues kind of sound. Sort of in between blues and country. Okay, so... Okay, in this next bit of the solo we're going to play over the, uh, the E uh, chord and then going into the A chord. So the lick is as follows. Okay, so I'll break that one down. So over the E we're playing, we slide in the 12th fret. Alright, 
So over the E then we're descending down, uh, sliding from the, uh, the 12th fret here. So over the, uh, barring the uh, E and B strings, then we go up down to that major seven, really grindy passing tone there. And then hammer it on there. I use my second finger. third of the E chord. Now going into the A. Back into E there. Okay. Now a very signature sort of great, well all of that stuff I suppose is really signature Grady Martin, uh, like this descending line here. He plays this a lot in a lot of different solos. Again, Grady Martin, the master of double stops. Okay, so... Now this next bit, we're back on E. Okay, so I'll show you that lick there. So we're on barring on the 12th fret, uh, starting on the uh, G. G string and the B string, so the second and third. So. So. Okay. Again, Grady Martin, the master of double stops. stuff that's the, the intro to to the song baby blue eyes there so he was playing that kind of stuff all the time um, and absolutely vital to uh, I, I'd say to anybody who plays this kind of style so I'll play the solo in its entirety and then um, hopefully you'll get it and maybe find some use for it all right so it goes like this <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to come back to our site the cavaleros.com regularly and uh, you know check out some more we'll have more videos uh, instructional videos and more updates on our gigs and all that kind of fun stuff see you soon